Hi folks, welcome back to Blackbeard's Detail YouTube channel. I'm Ross and this is the follow-up to the unboxing video the Rurock Atlas 4.0. I've been using this now for about three months. I've done about a thousand miles on it, mixture of uh, motorway, rural and nah, uh, general kind of in-town use. And these are my thoughts on it. Straight from the get-go, I didn't get any money off this from Rurock, I'm not sponsored, affiliated in any way by them. I spent my own hard-earned money on it, so I can say pretty much what I want. I find it incredibly comfortable. I got the extra large size, it fits me perfectly. I was right on the verge of large, extra large, and I went to the next size up, as explained on the unboxing video. Uh, the actual wind noise, very, very comparative to my Harley-Davidson Capstan uh, helmet. It's not any better, not any worse, eh, pretty much on par. The actual latch system for it attaching it on and off is fantastic. You can put it on and off with one hand very, very easily. Eh, and there's no kind of entanglement with the beard, which I was getting with some of the D-rings, which is incredibly uncomfortable when it starts to like, catch when you're riding and you're having to pull off and it's like somebody pulling in your beard. So, eh, yeah, it's a, that is a very good system for fastening and unfastening. The bottom kind of a chin lip to, to protect for the wind. Again, no huge issues with it. We, I'm in Scotland, I ride in Scotland, so it's a Scottish climate, it can be quite windy. The, the weather right now is sun is splitting the sky. Half an hour ago, it was an absolute lashing down rain. So we get various uh, weather conditions here when we're out riding and I've never had any issues with uh, the wind kind of keeping up there. However, bear in mind, I do have a big bushy beard, which basically stuffs into that, which also acts as a, a kind of wind suppressant in there. Uh, the actual inside switch for the opening and shutting of the ventilation in the front bit is a kind of silly design. Uh, you can't get in there easily at all when you're riding. So if you want to open that or shut it, again, depending on the varying weather conditions, it's a, it's a bit of a pain, you're having to like stop, really stop at a set of traffic lights and have to get your thumb up there and mess about with it. It's not the best. Top one, very easily adjusted. It's just the slide uh, left to right up there. This particular one is the matte finish. It is a fingerprint magnet. Uh, I have uh, put a layer of matte ceramic coating over this. So it's very, very easy to clean the bugs off of. However, you still get a cleanness prior to the, uh, the, the vlog. And as you can see, you still get fingerprint marks literally just from the start of this vlog. So bear that in mind, if you do like a nice clean look, then you will pick up finger marks on it. Uh, changing of the visor as well, found incredibly easy. Just turn this little uh, kind of screw, thumb screw. Same on the other side, lift off the other visor and put your clear one on, tinted visor, whatever colour you want. It's very easy, easy very simple to do. Uh, fortunately, it's not been tested practical wise, i.e. me falling off the bike. I hope that never happens. Uh, so I can't make any comment on that, but you just need to trust the manufacturer's own uh, testing uh, on that front. Moving on to the actual shockwave. Uh, the sound is pretty good. I'm a bit of an audiophile. I do like my music. Uh, the, it's nothing compared to a, a, a proper pair of like earphones. But at the end of the day, this is getting put in a helmet. So uh, the, I really can't complain with it at all. However, the chain app is rubbish. Like It's absolutely horrendous. The talking delay. You start talking, there's a good second delay and then it comes through the other mic. That's if and when you can get it connected. It's dropping out quite frequently. The areas in which we've tested it in, myself and my friend Paul, other friend uh, Scott and other friend Gordon, we've all tried it interlinked and it just simply does not work. It is rubbish. Uh, the mic seems to pick up the noise of the bikes. Uh, we all drive Harleys. Uh, particularly with my old bike, the 72, it had short shots on it, so the, the exhaust sound was sitting right at my leg. And when it did work, all it was picking up was the sound of the motorbike. Nobody else could hear anything. 
their mics were picking up the sound of their motorbikes, it was just an absolute mess. We just stopped using it and it was one of the main reasons why we bought Rurock helmets for that integrated shockwave system and uh, yeah, as a comp system it simply does not work through the app, it's terrible. Uh, we just kind of severed it but the music, listening to the music, is pretty good, it's pretty clear, it links up to the phone fine that way but the app is absolute pants. So Rurop, that needs basically changing. Uh, need to spend a bit of time doing that because uh, yeah, letting down customers look badly on that front. However, as the helmet quickly became my everyday riding helmet, whenever I'm going out, this is the one I grab for and take to leave the Harley one in there. It is comfortable. Wear it for usually the, the maximum length of time I've worn it in one go is about three hours. I've not had any issues with it. I know my friend Paul, he's got a couple of them. He finds them quite tight, and uh, especially in his cheeks. And he has got some complaints that it's basically the, the padding isn't even in itself out, isn't softening itself over the course of a ride. But it could be the fact that he's got multiple different helmets, he's wearing different ones each time he goes out. Whereas I'm basically solely wearing this one, so it's slowly moulding itself to my face. Uh, either that or I've got the added padding of the beard which is helping. But yeah, it's uh, all in. I do like the helmet. Uh, I, as a helmet, it's great as the integrated comms thing. It is absolutely rubbish. So uh, if you're planning and buying it for the chain app, have a look into it. Try and see if you can get uh, a loan of some of these. Test it out, make sure it's for you. Hasn't worked for any of us. That's the thing. It's not just one person it's not worked for. It's all of us. It just drops out constantly. It's areas in the city, areas rural, it is that. Doesn't matter. Phones have all got signal. We've got a GPS up on the phones, so we can all we all know we've got a signal, and it's just dropping out. It's absolute rubbish and it's pointless. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, there will be a kind of partner video to this about Engine Hawk, which is the, the other uh, kind of partner company to Rurock and uh, our findings on that which haven't been terribly good but I'll get that one filmed over the next couple of days thank you very much for watching it would help me out massively if you could click that wee like button and then hit the subscribe and then you can see some of my new content when it comes to motorbikes thank you very much for watching stay safe cheerio bye